What's going on guys, Gitchy1230 here with more Grand Theft Auto 5, and today what I want to be talking to you guys about is the next gen release of Grand Theft Auto 5, or maybe you consider it current gen, or maybe you can just say new gen, either way, it's for the PS4, Xbox One, and PC, and what I want to discuss is the physical copy versus the digital copy, which one you should get, and the pros and cons of each. Today we're going to be going over, you know, what's good about the physical copy, what's bad, and the same about the digital copy, and then hopefully after this video, you're going to be able to make a decision for yourself and tell me in the comments below which one you will be getting. I'm actually kind of curious, so I'm going to kind of tally it up after a day or two and kind of see what you guys think and see what you're leaning towards, physical or digital. Alright, so like I was saying, no matter what platform you're going to get the game for, PS4, Xbox One, or PC, chances are there's going to be a digital download for the game and also a physical copy release that you can go pick up in the stores. But which one is right for you? Because there are pros and cons of each, like I said, and depending on what kind of person you are, you know, there's probably one that suits you better than the other. So why don't we start looking over the pros and cons of each of those? So we're going to start out with the physical copy. Alright, so when you buy a physical copy of the game, it is nice because, well, it's a physical copy. It is physical proof of what you have, and no matter where you go, you can take it with you. You know, you can put it in a friend's computer, a friend's Xbox, a friend's PS4, it doesn't matter. No matter where you go, you can always have that game. In addition to that, if you decide that you no longer want the game, since it is a physical copy after all, that means you can go to GameStop, sell it on eBay, whatever you want to do, but you can get rid of it and get money back for it. When you buy a digital copy, uh, pretty much all sales are final. You know, you're not going to be able to download it onto your computer and then say, okay, uh, I've had enough of this, I'm ready to sell it. It simply doesn't work like that. So when you buy a physical copy, it is uh, your choice for how long you want to keep it, and when you get tired of it, you can go exchange it for cash on, uh, you know, some other website or at some other place. Another good thing about getting a physical copy is that a lot of people like to show off their games. You know, a cool thing about owning a game is being able to put it on your bookshelf with all the rest of them and display your collection. Some people even go as far as putting their games alphabetically, or by genre, by publisher, whatever. So by having the physical case along with it, it's another way to show what you own. So that's another plus depending on, you know, if you like to collect games, or if you're not such a game collector, then maybe it just gets in the way for you. So between all those things, buying a physical copy definitely sounds like a good idea. I mean, you can sell the game if you ever get tired of it, you can re-gift it to a friend, you can take it where you want, you don't have to worry about servers being down to, you know, download the game or being overloaded, you just pop it in and you play. But, having said all of that, there are definitely some disadvantages of having a physical copy, and uh, one of the biggest things is, of course, breaking the disc, or scratching it fatally to where it no longer plays. I mean, we've all had it happen, whether it's a new game or an old game, you know you've put a game in your system before, and at some point, whether it's on a new system or an old system, it's it wasn't able to read the disc, either because it was cracked or just scratched too much, or it just froze at a really important part of the game and you weren't able to play it anymore. With the digital copy, that's not going to be the case. Since it's digital, it's stored on your hard drive, you don't have to worry about damaging the disc, breaking anything, it's all there digitally for you to play when you want it. Another potential disadvantage of the physical version of the game is the fact that some people simply do not like the clutter of the case, the manual, and things like that. They just don't want those things lying around their house, it's easier to maintain when everything's stored on your hard drive. So, maybe you're not a game collector, maybe you don't like showing off your collection, and maybe you just prefer a more minimalistic look to things. You don't want clutter lying around your house, you don't want game cases on your shelf, then digital may definitely be the way to go for you. So now we're going to move on to the pros and cons of the digital copy. One of the biggest pros I would say for the digital copies is that you don't have to leave the comfort of your own home to get the game. You can go on your computer and just download it and then play it. You don't need to wait in any long lines. I mean, I know that some people love midnight release, like, personally, I enjoy the atmosphere of a midnight launch. Everybody's excited for the game, you're all there for the same reason, but uh, some people just don't like waiting in the line, and in that case, downloading a digital game is great for them. Furthermore, I think it's really neat that publishers are now allowing you to pre-download a game before its release date. That means that you can have it all stored and ready so that as soon as it becomes midnight, the game is unlocked and then you can play immediately, so you don't have to worry about servers being bogged down and things like that. Another advantage is the fact that sometimes, like on Steam, digital games are just way cheaper. Like, I got GTA 4 during the Steam summer sale for, I think, like 5 bucks or something. Granted, that was years after its initial release, so chances are, if it's a brand new game, usually it's going to cost the same price whether it's physical or digital. But you know, every now and then things do go on sale and you can find some really good deals on digital copies. So now to move on to the disadvantages of digital copies, one of the biggest things in my opinion is the storage space. Some of these games are getting huge. 
huge. As technology advances, uh, these game files are getting bigger and bigger because stories are getting more in-depth, graphics are getting better, and the files are just really overall getting more huge. So if you don't have the storage space for these games, eventually, you know, you're going to hit your limit. You just can't fit any more games depending on how many you have and how you use your computer. So in some uh, scenarios, it might be better to get a physical copy because, you know, it's not going to use up all your storage space. And really, the more space you have left over, the better. The only other real disadvantage of digital that comes to mind right now is maybe like if you got a hard drive or something corrupted and then you would lose your collection of digital games and you'd have to re-download them all as opposed to a physical copy where, you know, you, you can't corrupt a physical copy. As long as you take care of it and you don't scratch it, it's always there. So as you can see, there are a bunch of pros and cons to each of these, probably a lot that I also missed that you guys will be telling me in the comments below. So please, if there are any big things that I missed, let me know. So having said all of that, you're probably wondering which I'll be getting myself. As of now, uh, I think I'll probably be going with the physical copy. I'm one of those people that kind of likes to have something to show for. Uh, I, I don't know if I really like the idea of just having the entire game saved on my hard drive. I'd like to have something physical to kind of back it up, uh, just in case I ever did have hard drive issues. I know you can re-download the games, but that's really not something I want to deal with. I just kind of prefer to have the physical version in my hand, and uh, I think that's probably the way to go for me. So with that, guys, please tell me what you think in the comments below which one will you be getting I'm totally curious to know like I said I'm gonna be going through the comments and kind of tallying them up and seeing what the general consensus is and I think that about does it I think I said everything that I wanted to say although I'm sure after this video is uploaded and published I'm probably gonna remember things that I forgot and probably be kicking myself but for the most part I think I covered most of the pros and cons I hope the video made sense I hope it wasn't too sloppy I tried to kind of organize it in a you know a sensible fashion but uh, I don't know at this point, I'm just kind of rambling to let you see the rest of the race because uh, this is the first time that I ever played this race and I thought it was actually really neat. Um, I'm going to definitely have to download this and use it for some of my future live streams. But, um, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep rambling because uh, you might be curious of how it finishes up. There's only a few more seconds. So it uh, looks like I ended up getting about fourth place here. Uh, luckily, I beat the guy on the dirt bike, that cheater. This is a monster truck map, not a dirt bike map, but whatever. So there's a finish line, and there we go, fourth place. Uh, okay, guys, so thank you for watching, and uh, with that, I will see you next time.